Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the FPS tutorial series. In today's episode what we're going to be doing by request is doing shift walking. Now shift walking is something done in games like CSGO where you stop making any noise whatsoever. Um, which helps aid you being undetected by enemies. So the way we're going to do this today is we're going to need some fresh new animations for this. What I've done is gone to Mixamo, selected all my walking animations that I've uh, used originally, and just turned the overdrive, which is how fast um, the character animation drives forward, uh, down to 10. So as you can see, we've got a nice slow look. Now let's get this working. First and foremost, what we've got to do is create an animation blend space. I'm gonna use the SWAT skeleton, and this helps obviously to uh, blend animations together to uh, make it look nicer. So I'm gonna call this uh, shift, not shirt, shift um, walking underscore blend. Maybe just something, something like that. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna drag, actually you know, first things first, what we're gonna do is set direction and speed and then the maximum speed we're going to do here is usually for me i think it might be maybe 100 but we'll take a look at our character movement our maximum speed crouched is 300 so the max walking speed is 600 so yeah we'll do maybe walking speed we'll do 250 uh, just like that. Then over in direction, we've got to set minus 180 to 180 degrees, which makes makes everything a full circle. And we're going to set the interpolation time to 1. So you're probably wondering what we're going to put down here along the bottom. Well, we're just going to do idle aiming because we have our... Uh, this is for the rifle, and then we'll do it for the pistol. And then what we're gonna do is do the uh, shift, sorry, no, SW, because I've labeled mine SW. So we've got walk forward, we've got walk forward right, and walk forward left, and that's how it should be put out. And then if you have any ba walking backwards right and walking backwards left, you should put them on the 180 and the minus 180. Now, you're probably wondering, how do we initiate the shift walking? Well, we need a, uh, a hotkey or like a button to press. So we're gonna go over to our project settings, go over to input. I'm gonna add a action mapping. So this is called shift walk. Now in Counter-Strike, this is shift, but we're already using shift, as you can see for sprint. So I'll just use um, left control, which would usually be crouch, but we're probably not gonna add crouching in here. And if we do, I'll change the, um, the uh, mapping right so once you've selected that all you need to do is exit out of it and go into your SWAT underscore character and just type in uh, shift walk and it should come up right here so what we've got to do here is create a variable keep it a boolean we're just going to um, label this can shift walk oh my mistake shift walk uh, and then I'm going to put rifle at the end because so far we've only done it for the rifle. And I'm just going to set this to true when we press it and when we release it. We want to set it to false, like so. Then we want to head over to our character animations, character and MVP. Open that up, go into the movement or whatever you have it labeled. And we're probably going to off here, drag in the shift walking blend. And obviously this has nothing to do with the pistols. So you don't need to bother adding any transitionary rules between them. Uh, and just, yeah, add transitionary rules between idle, walk and run. Right, so once you've done that, all you've got to do is press compile and save and just exit out of that and re-enter it because I didn't have these things here. If we just go in and out, hopefully they will appear just like so. So what we've got to do now is grab the boolean from the SWAT character and set it to a variable. So I'm just going to come over here and get uh, it, uh, just shift, not I shift, shift uh, can 
uh, uh, shift walk rifle. And I'm just gonna set this to a variable and can shift walk uh, rifle and then anim. Add a question mark on the end there. Oh, I've spelled that wrong. And hook it up to the rest of the graph. Now going back in here, what we wanna do is just label the transitionary rule. Uh, this is going to shift walking blend. So if the can shift walk rifle uh, is true, then we go into uh, the shift walk blend. And then if it is not true, then we go out of it. So just keep doing this for everything. Oh, not said it. Uh, adding the not when you're going out of the uh, shift walking blend, so the transitionary rule that's going away from it. Uh, and if you think that you might have mislabeled something uh, and you want to quickly check, just hover over it and it should say in words the um, what's inside it. Right, so I'm gonna just compile and save and now everything's all good. Now, when I press control, everything's slowed down pretty nicely. However, we haven't done two things. We haven't added our direction and speed, which we need to. And then also, as you could see, when we were doing, um, when we were doing it, it doesn't look very good because we're still going pretty fast. So to fix that, what we've got to do is get the character movement set max walk speed. And we're just going to hook two of these in, one for each. Make sure your target is the character movement because that's where we're getting the value from. And then I'm just going to set the max walking speed to 250. And then obviously right back here, we're going to set it back to 600 once we are done. So as you can see, when I press control, the animation is slowed down and our speed is slowed down. And when I release control, uh, we're back to normal, normal speed. Okay, so I've just gone and grabbed uh, a pistol shift walk forward animation. I don't think on the um, Expo site there was uh, anything else like a left or right one. I'll go and check later. But for now, we're just going to stick with this. So I'm going to go into my character anim BP, drag in the shift walk for the pistol. And I'm, again, I'm just going to add the transitionary rules to each. One thing that we are going to do, however, is uh, add a branch. And here, what the condition is going to be is if it's true, if we have the rifle, so is using rifle, we're going to set that to true. So we actually have the can shift walk rifle. And if it's false, what we're going to do is just add another variable, can shift walk um, pistol. I'm going to set that to true and then do the exact same thing here. Uh, and then I'm going to add the same thing if we are using the rifle here, true. Uh, and then if that's false, then set shift walk like that. Uh, and then we're just going to do the exact same thing. Compile and save and head over to your character and MVP. So I'm going to do the exact same here as we did. I'm just going to double click on the blue bit here. So then we get a shortcut so we can drag off here instead of going here every single time. Oh, we we'll move the camera going back here every single time. You can just double click on this to make like a little separate thing that we can use uh, to connect stuff. So I'm just gonna drag this out and can shift walk. Uh, and we wanna get can shift walk pistol. Select that, promote it to a variable and can shift walk um, pistol and hook that up to make sure it works and compile and save. So next things we're gonna do is, as always, set up the transitionary rules. Same thing as we did here. Back is a not, and going to and going to it is just just the variable. Once you have done everything here, we're just gonna compile and save. And I just realized that I've accidentally named my variable wrong, so I'm just gonna rename that, and then compile and save it again, and then that should work. So now we're just going to quickly test it when we have our rifle. We go slow with our rifle. So here what we're going to do with pistol, 
as you can see, we are going like that. And then we press crouch. And I don't know if the pistol animation is working. So I'm just going to quickly uh, do something about that. So just for um, simplicity's sake, what I'm just going to do is instead of just going like that back to um, just one node, I'm just going to do it to both. I'm going to drag this down here just to make everything look a bit neater. Um, just like so. And then what we're going to do is do this. Now, it looks fine. The animation is a bit, bit finicky, but I'm sure that's okay. What we're going to do is also, as you can see, when we press crouch and we're walking, and we're not walking, it still does the animation. So I think what I'm going to do is off pistol idle, I'm going to delete the transitionary rules and off here also, uh, just to make sure that it doesn't. So now we, when we press this, when we press control, it doesn't do anything because we can't transition to the animation because we haven't got any transitionary rules. And when we press crouch and then we press one, uh, as you can see, we now have a slight glitch right okay that's unfortunate we're gonna have to fix that I'll, I'll just go and work on how to fix this okay so the way i found to fix this is very simple what you've got to do is add a branch uh and on the um hotkey or button or uh, key binding or whatever um where you set to switch weapons just um set a branch and it can shift or pistol if that's true if that's false so if we're not we have we're not shifting with the um pistol then we can enter the um and execute this bit of code and we're going to do the exact same thing for um going to our pistol uh but just changing the rifle and there we go we have everything sorted one other bug that i've quickly just found is that after we stop moving we're still sprinting so we're gonna have to quickly just go over to wherever we put our shift our sprint okay and i'll quickly just add a branch uh get character movement uh get max walk speed i'm gonna add a less than or equals more than or equal to 10. All right, that pretty that pretty much solves it. All right, we'll just we'll leave that for there. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy, don't forget to slap a like and subscribe if you like the content. Don't forget to share it around to your friend who might enjoy the content slash need this uh, if they're trying to fix something. And as I said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.